No, I think that you're absolutely right. There has been slower progress made in developing new therapies for patients with brain tumors. And there are many reasons for that. Um, I think it's <clears throat> it's always been a challenge to um, do better surgery in the brain because there's always the risk of causing permanent neurologic injury. So the extent of resection is always going to be limited. There have been great advances in radiation, which is probably one of the most effective therapies for brain tumors, but there's only so much radiation that the brain can tolerate. And then in the <clears throat> field of medical therapy, um, we've just not been able to develop drugs that effectively cross the blood-brain barrier and are able to really kill off the majority of tumor cells because each tumor cell is, is almost completely different from the next. So the amount of what we call heterogeneity in, in biology of the, of the tumors is very, very great. And that's difficult to overcome with, with therapies.